Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding. My name is Tarek Elgindi with the Mr. Olympia. In Louisiana, we had the Optimum Classic and we had four competitors going to the Mr. Olympia. But I wanna talk to you about Marie Esso, genetically gifted and I checked her back to bull biceps and she's gonna be right there battling. Also, another athlete that caught my attention with the back to bull biceps was Carlos Domar. He's got the glasses, the long hair. This guy can make an impact. Good looking guy and also poses really well. Now looking at some of the other competitors, Benquil Marini, this is the second time he wins his pro show. So he's carrying some momentum. Coach Ryan Benson will bring him his best at the Mr. Olympia and he knows the men's physique division quite well. Lucia Malavasi conquers the bikini. Lucia has won pro shows before. Now is the time for her to really make some noise at the Olympia. Can she join some of these great Brazilian queens in the Olympia division? We'll see in December in 2022 in Las Vegas. Now moving on to Brazil. Muscle Contest Sao Paulo, Lucas Coelho wins the 212. Lucas had an addiction problem, it was on the streets. And it was bodybuilding that saved his life. And now, not only he conquers his qualification, but he's going to the Mr. Olympia. A true inspiring story for all of us. In California Night of Champions, Sierra Swan, she had already been to the Olympia, but this time she goes to that stage as a pro winner. Great physique, and she could be right there battling with the top ones. Now, everybody's talking about the New York Pro. Yes, let's talk about it, but let's talk a little bit about history. Blessing Awadipu wins the New York Pro. He's a young competitor. And if you look back at some of the young competitors that won the New York Pro, I'm gonna mention a few names. Phil Heath, Big Rami. I don't see this guy any longer as this fun-loving guy in the internet. And I know that's his supporting role. But right now, his leading role is a contender at the Mr. Olympia. You don't win the New York Pro if you're not a contender. On stage, Nick Walker was right there and they had a challenge. He's not challenging a guy that has not won a pro show. New York Pro has been won by Nick Walker, who also won the Arnold Classic. Blessing our depot is the real deal and everybody should be watching out for him. Now, moving on to the other divisions, female bodybuilding, Donna Salib wins the female bodybuilding. Talking about small waist, she has that. If she puts a little bit more meat on that back double biceps, she can make an impact and battle it out with Ivan Sek and Andrea Shaw. Now we're talking about the female divisions. Natalia Coelho sends another clear message to Sarah Viegas. Listen, I'm here, I'm winning all these shows and I'm carrying the momentum. And Sarah was there looking beautiful, giving the award to Natalia. They might not be friends in December, I'm just letting you know. Sunny Andrews is sending a message to the Brazilians, okay? If you think you own the wellness division, well, you're wrong. Sunny Andrews is leading the charge and she's letting Franciele Matos, Angela Borges, and all the other competitors, hey, we American girls, we got glutes and we got legs and we'll be at the Mr. Olympia. Now, if we talk about confrontation, Laura Lee Chapados doubles down. She wins the Pittsburgh Pro and now the New York Pro. If last, last week she sent a message to Jennifer Dory, they might as well just unfollow each other on Instagram. She's going for that title. I call this collision course, okay? Now we had a little bit of a Mexican invasion in New York. Yes, Josie Alarcon, small waist, beautiful presentation, wins the figure. And this freak, and let me tell you, there's no other way to describe him. This freak, Noel Adami, wins the 212. The guy was so good that everybody was wondering what kind of noise could he make on the open at the New York Pro. I'm just coming to the conclusion some of the best bodybuilders are coming from the 212. And then we had, in the classic physique, Neil Curry. Neil Curry has been around, but he's gonna have to fill up to battle it out against Ramon Dino, against Ruff Diesel, and Chris Bumstead. And winning the New York Pro one more time was Kyron Holden. 
Kyron has won the New York Pro. He's won more than 10 pro shows. Kyron has won a pro show on Saturday, and then he went back on Sunday to win. The challenge is, can you beat Brandon Hendrickson? Can you beat Aaron Banks? That's the only thing left for the legacy of Kyron Holden. California Pro is happening this weekend. I'll be there, and I'll be talking to you guys about it. Wow. <laughs>